Mr Pinks. All right. Uh, question number 12, uh, Paul Eagle. Mr Speaker. Uh, Kieran McAnulty. On behalf of the member, this question is to the Minister of Civil Defence. What recent announcements has the government made to improve New Zealand's emergency management system? Oh, Mr Speaker. The Honourable Chris Farfoy. Mr Speaker, the government has released its response to the Ministerial Technical Advisory Group report into improving our emergency management system. New funding of $5.2 million for specialist rapid response teams, known as flying teams, has been allocated to support communities in an emergency. A further $1 million in new funding will progress other initiatives, including the business case for a new emergency management facility, a common operating picture across the sector, and work on legislative changes required. Other non-fiscal reforms to the emergency management system are also being developed to ensure that all New Zealanders are getting consistent support in an emergency. Supplementary. How will fly-in teams help in an emergency response? Mr Speaker, fly-in teams will be comprised of experienced emergency management personnel with the appropriate skills and experience, including event controllers. Fly-in teams will respond without delay wherever they are required to work alongside and support the local teams to ensure a comprehensive and immediate response is underway. The $5.2 million in funding will resource four teams each with nine staff who hold specialist emergency management skills. The st staff will be drawn from across agencies and civil defence groups and be, be ready to respond when an emergency strikes. The deployment of these teams will not only directly assist communities during disaster relief, but support local civil defence groups who work tirelessly, often under tough conditions. Supplementary. What other measures has the government taken to keep people and property safe when responding to emergencies? Oh, Mr Speaker, the government has responded to each of the 42 recommendations in the report, agreeing to implement most of them because we need to ensure our system is fit for purpose right now and the years ahead. It is important we are robust in our response to the recommendations because there are lessons to learn from previous emergencies. Among other things, I want to see the significant role of iwi play in emergency management acknowledged and incorporated into emergency planning. I look forward to working with community groups, local government, iwi, cross-party colleagues and the emergency management sector to realise this plan. I have received a letter from the Honourable Paula Bennett seeking to debate understanding...